especially when there's so many Grand Prix tournaments, you, you have to be careful that you don't you don't Ab burn out. Absolutely, yeah. It's not like tennis or you know where you can just play every week or no. anything. Is you know. When you play a hard tournament, I imagine it takes a good two or three weeks just to physically recover. Yeah, definitely. If you're having five or six fights, the next day sometimes you can't even go out of bed. Yeah. <laughs> well, here we go. Now, this one looks like it's a little bit more tentative. They uh, faced each other actually at the Korean Open in the semi-final. And uh, Sonkham won that one by six to five, so oh, close. close. Sonkham took the bronze medal at the Olympic Games as well, so she's... Uh, She's certainly no stranger to top level performance. So still nil nil. It, you see automatically, you know, t sport taekwondo is incredible, isn't it? You can get bouts like the last one where they're scoring freely, it's 19 7, and now you're getting a more of a tactical battle. You know, these two are a little bit more cagey. Yeah. They fought each other before, it was 6 5, so that, even. That, that's probably a reason why, obviously, they both fought each other um, and it was so close. So, yeah. so the, the, the none of them want to give that lead away early on in the game, so that's why it's probably a little bit tight at the start. Yeah. And I'm sure some come, uh, you know, that 6-5, well, you know yourself with this point score, 6-5 is nothing, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's one point in it out of 11. And I think, uh, you know, possibly Songkam is uh, just a little bit wary here. She's, she's got an early lead. But it's, uh, it is a little bit more tactical here. She an attempted head kick. That's a shot that we've seen more and more. Now you don't need the force. We're seeing a lot of those close-in head kick attempts, aren't yeah. we? Where, you know, you have to like, almost do the splits. Yeah, I think... <laughs> That's and really there's nice a head there. kick from close range, just as we were talking about. It was it. a second action, wasn't the second action she scored with. Uh, that was good. But that's one of the things uh, you know that, that's come into the sport with uh, the close in head kick, and even one round the back as well. When you're yeah. actually holding onto somebody, and there's a, there's a name for it, isn't there? Where you kick in, kick a round, kick round the a back. hot kick. That's yeah. it. Damon's really good at, uh, at scoring them. I've seen him score a few. <laughs> yeah. Because of course, and there's an attempted one there you see from the left foot of Apakarova that she tried the hook kick round the back. I think that the flexibility in all the girls that we've seen up to now has been been ridiculous. The, yeah. She almost kicked herself in the head. To head. <laughs> it is quite amazing when you know you see what these guys do, and especially behind the scenes as well when they're just limbering up and you, you know they're they're almost gymnasts as well as yeah. fighters. The, the suppleness in there is is phenomenal. And that head kick from Sonko, as we said earlier when we were looking at the rules. You know, it's okay being able to score body shots, but you need to be able to score head kicks because those three points are Can so crucial. Game. Well, a good start there for the favourite from Thailand. She'll be happy with that little bit of work there. And the coach will be... Uh, oh, it's nice to see that our, uh, our mascots have uh, given us a bit of a dance. <laughs> but the score after the first period, Chana Tip Songkam leads 5-1. Well, if you're in the coach, if, you know, if you're on the red side, you know, coaching her, there's nothing sickly she's done wrong. She's just been caught out once, hasn't she? She's held her own. Yeah, she has. I think, I think that she'll be looking to work that clinch, um, like we were saying, and go high, because she's had a few really close attempts there. Yeah. Um, there, the Thailand girl was really good to keep her leg up. She blocked the first one, yeah. kept it up, persisted oh. and got the second one. What so a replay. She was really good by uh, the Thailand girl. And of course, that, that is the thing, like when you're defending, you could see that Abakarova went down, you know, you almost bend over backwards. And and then, you know, but the, the girl from Thailand, so, you know, Songkham, she, she just held her foot there, yeah. knowing that the head yeah, was going to come, back, come up, back up, and then went again. And that's something that Jade Jones has done yeah. particularly well in recent years, and she used it to great effect against Gomez. She, you know, the, the nine points in nine seconds that everybody's talking about, two of those kicks were the second movement. In yeah. fact, one was a third that totally caught Gomez out. Yeah, Jade does that really well. So back to this fight, place in the final against Wu Jingyu, awaits the winner. And so far, I don't think either of them will be particularly tired here, but do remember that these guys have actually fought two or three fights to get here. There's been a few buys in the first round with withdrawals or injuries, but uh, they've already had a couple of tough encounters. And You can yeah. see the Azerbaijan girls is trying to work the clinch. Yeah, the, the Thailand girl needs to make sure she keeps her wits about her in there because she's she's really flexible. Yeah, yeah. So back over. Uh, of course, uh, we all went over to the European Games in Baku. A fantastic experience that was. And Thailand certainly came. Oh, now well, what's happened there? Because that was. Well, let's see a replay there. Is that? I don't know what. 
What do you think happened there, Jordan? It looks like she tried to block the kick and uh, maybe just kicked her shoulder. And it, uh, no. Oh, well. Yeah, maybe just twisted her shoulder while she's trying to block it. I don't know. Maybe she come in, like we were talking about, with an injury into yeah, the fight, yeah. and that's just aggravated it. Looks like it, because all she did was lift her arm up, but there was yeah. obviously severe pain there. Yeah. And whether she had a, a shoulder out earlier on or something like that, and it's still very sore, but, yeah, yeah. there was no contact whatsoever. And now, back her over. Well, she got a kingo for going down. Um, Jordan, if, you, if you're blue here... Yeah. You're gonna go straight for that shoulder, aren't you now? <laughs> uh, I think she needs to keep. She, she can't. She can't do anything reckless because the Azerbaijan girls will still still be ready. So I think she needs to keep her tactics the same. But yeah, be, if if she can um, take advantage of that, obviously our cover won't be as good now because yeah. she she has got pain in the uh, shoulder. Well, I'm just getting rid of a, a bit of water, and in fact, we need a little bit more. His moment of fame, he'll be going back home tonight, saying I was on TV to 90 odd countries tonight. But now, a back her over. Well, if he was betting on this, her odds will have just lengthened significantly after that particular uh, incident. And she's definitely not in a happy place. Yeah. She? She's not really defending herself properly at all there. It's a bit of a mess. And Song Camp. There's one thing about Taekwondo I've noticed. You guys don't hang around when there's a chance of a kill. Yeah. You get in there. <laughs> Definitely. If she can pull a few points away now before, well, while her shoulder's clearly hurting, then that could be what makes the difference at the end of the yeah. fight. Well, having said that, Sam Khan is just oh, holding really off. Good. There's another steady kick, another one point. I suppose the other thing you've also got to bear in mind when you get to this stage is knowing you've got a final to come in about 45 minutes' time. She's also got to be thinking, well, look, you know, let's just play for the long game. I'm going to comfortably win this. I know I'm all right. Let's just not win, you know, why win by a massive margin? I think um, right now she'll be thinking about this fight. She, she can't she can't really think about it. Like we were talking, a couple of headshots here and, and um, Azerbaijan girls right back in it. So she'll be very focused on this fight now. Yeah. And then after the fight, she can worry about the final. Attempted spinning kick to the body there, which, of course, would have been three points. So... A little warning there for Song Coming Blue from Thailand. But with one period to go, she leads by eight points to one. Well, there is big points here for the Rio Olympics up for stake, of course, and everybody's looking at qualification, and there's not enough places, and there's less weight categories, so it's a, it's a real scrap, isn't it, to, to try and get through to Rio? Yeah, definitely. I think Taekwondo must be one of the hardest sports to get into the Olympics, never mind to win it. Just to get there is, is hard enough in itself. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, some, there are some athletes who have got their golden ticket already, but there's a number that haven't, and it's it's these. There's an interesting replay there where there's certainly a lot of movement on the shoulder, and I just wonder if that may have aggravated an old injury that we just saw in the replay. About one period to go. And Sunkam leading 8 1. So the question is here always when you get a lead of this type is do you go a little bit more defensive? And you know, we've all seen bouts where yeah. people have done that and then lost out because yeah. they've changed their natural game. And the other person's come in and suddenly two head kicks and they're back in it. I think she'll have in her mind just sh she doesn't need to take any stupid risks. But again, yeah. no, she can't just go on the back foot. What she's done in the first two rounds has clearly worked well. So, so why change? Why change indeed? And in fact, you, you're absolutely right. She's just do, she's carrying on. She's taking the momentum to her opponent, Abakarova, and Song come now nine one ahead. We've not a lot of time. I've got to. Looking at Abakarova's body language, I think she may have even given this up because she needs to do something quickly. And she doesn't seem to be making a, a big move. And I think the, uh, yeah. I think the, the shoulders put in off for the for the higher scoring points there with the spin. So she's yeah. still she's she's still trying. Well, just coming up to the final minute. And it looks like we're going to have a Thailand China final. Of course, uh, in the old days of Taekwondo, it used to be Korea that dominated everything, and now, of course, the sport has massively changed. You know, even in the time period that you've been uh, fighting yeah. yourself, and you know, you're a young man. You know, you know myself, I've been involved in Taekwondo for seven, eight years, and you know, even then, you're just starting to see Korea, you know, still dominating mainly, 
but starting to wane a little bit and other countries such as Great Britain yeah. really stepping in. Yeah, definitely. I think I think you, you used to, I know when I was a, a junior, you could look at the draw and certain countries, you think, oh, I might have an easier fight with this country. Now, it, it, everyone, everyone has, has really stepped up. Yeah. And uh, a lot of them have a, a, a good Olympic program. There are still some self-funding fighters out there, but most of them are funded nationally, as uh, Taekwondo, of course, is an Olympic sport. Yeah. Sunkum getting herself into a bit of trouble there <laughs> and running off. But we're down to the final. Third, and, and I think it's fair to say that Bakarova has actually had, has decided that this one is gone. And yeah, uh, she really hasn't fought, you know, for the win in the last minute. She's... Uh, Thailand she's girl's doing well at, at shutting her off as well. Every time she's coming, she's lifting that leg up to just to try and spoil. Yeah. Uh, There's another movement. She scores a point. She'd really and that's it. That leg. And it's Chanatip Songkam from Thailand wins comfortably. She will progress through to the final in about 45 minutes' time. And she'll be facing Wu Jing Yu. Rounds here, and it has been quite amazing. Just, just confirmation now of our final score. Shannon Tips on camp progresses through to the final with a 10-3 victory over Patty.